Welcome back to Inquisition, where I am not sexist, I am just a little salty <laughs> because she always talks in a very serious manner, mm -hmm. and someone's misinterpreting my words. Yep. Yeah, totally. So anyway, he saved the town and, well, I guess saved the town. He, he fought off some people who were going to... Oh god, I just saw your name again. He fought some people who were <laughs> going to harm the town, I guess. Uh, oh, it's not really clear. And uh, now he's saved them by murdering everybody. Well, how else am I supposed to save them? He was a master of delegation. He delegated them so hard. With his greatsword. Okay, so we were talking about Infamous, I believe. We were. We were talking about how this game, you can be as evil or good as you want, but in the end, you still do the same general thing. Yeah. And Infamous does that in the vaguest way. I mean, sort of. Infamous 1, you have a clear goal to defeat the boss, and how you uh, go about it changes some grab things. this one. Yeah, I believe that's one-handed, though. Is it? I think... It's been a while. I don't, I don't think I actually bought it. Yeah. Well, oh, I'll, I'll check while he talks. But Infamous 2 followed a different path. They uh, obviously decided to make a bigger deal about your choices. And your choices in the short run didn't really mean much. I mean, you could choose to be evil and it wouldn't change the story too much. You're still pursuing the same baddie. You're still trying to stop them. Think, Your motivation yeah. to stop them hadn't changed, but uh, the last choices or choice you make really does change what happens at the end of the game and how different it should have been from there on out. And they took the good ending from the second game to spring off and make another game. And they could have made an evil version of that, and it probably would have been, probably would have been a cool story, but not a very good game. I don't want to say any spoilers, so this conversation is, well, this rant actually isn't really going to go anywhere. But I'll just say, Infamous did it right. They let you make choices, and the choices really did change things and made a really interesting story. This one, it's the story of how you saved the world from that one guy that I don't want to spoil the name of. And I appreciate you not spoiling. Thank you. Um, I, I really did love uh, all the infamous games. Because, um... I, in the first one, I only remember making one evil choice. And in the second one... I don't, I don't think I made an evil choice in the second one. I think I might have made, like, one. Yeah. But it wasn't, like, a huge one. Yeah. I wish they'd had a little bit better reasoning or something more to tempt you to be evil in those games. Yeah, especially in, uh... uh a little more so in the first game. Because, uh, I mean, again, try not to spoil... Um, I didn't feel like the quote-unquote evil choice I made was actually evil. I felt that it was, like, more chaotic than evil. Um. I actually don't remember which choice you made, so... It might be a spoiler, so just don't say anything. I, I, I wasn't going to. Um. But, but it really was kind of like a, you know, we... It felt like every decision was like, oh, well, we can resolve this kind of, like, civilized, or we could just fucking destroy shit. Well, yeah, some of the evil options were more justified than that one. Like, the townspeople hate you, so you don't feel so bad if you decide to do something bad. They already hate you. Or you could work towards not being horrible, and they can learn to not hate you. So it's kind of up to you to, like, make your own image and pursue your own goal. Yeah. And again, in this game, you really don't have that. I've wondered, how did you know to approach us, Solas? Oh, conversation time. We were scrambling and barely had time to think. And there you were. Yeah. I went to see the breach for myself. I did not know you would be there. 
You must not have been far away. I was not. I'd come to hear of the conclave, but did not want to get close. Hmm. Hmm. Lucky for us then. Yeah, I'd say so. Really lucky. You guys had one more mage who you would have arrested immediately. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm just saying, that's what they do. Uh, yeah. Hey, look, a mage outside the tower. Arrest him. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> You're supposed to, it says up there in the corner. You're supposed to travel to Val Royo. Yeah, I don't know which one of these uh, pointers to, like, follow. No, 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 like, it's on the big map back at your home base. Oh, okay. But you're supposed to gather power, and you gather power by completing quests. So they want you to run around this sandbox and complete quests and gain power, and then go to Val Royo. Oh. So they want me to waste my time. Yes, exactly. We, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you found the fast travel station, you can zoom out and see all the quest markers and such. And in this game, you can just select the marker and essentially highlight it as something to do. Oh, okay. Oh. So now that's your active quest. Okay, because I remember picking that one up, but I just didn't remember what the hell I was supposed to do with it. And now that one's the one marked in the corner, and you can go re-highlight it whenever you want. Okay. Oh, well, now I know. And now you get to run all across the open fields. Yay. Good thing they look pretty because, goddamn, I'm going to have to get used to this. Things like this are why I'm learning to appreciate Monster Hunter more and more. Right? With the, the smaller maps? Yeah, it's a more focused map. It's not even about being big or small. It's as big as it needs to be, I should say. Yeah. It's big enough to facilitate the giant monster, but not too big that you're wasting your time just running for most of the game. Dude, these symbols are getting bigger, but I really don't feel like I'm getting any closer to anything. Okay, you can check your map. Uh, how do I do that? Not that. Is that a thing I can do? Quest map. Oh. oh. I think there's a shortcut to this, but I don't remember. Oh my god, it's way out here. I know, right? And that's what I mean. It takes so long to load, but it loads a humongous map. Oh, which God. you get to traipse around. Yay. And like I said, it takes power to do quests most of the time. Like to unlock the next big quest. So they kind of force you to do the optional ones, which makes them not optional at all. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm catching here. See, I can't dodge. I just have to, like, walk towards these dudes. If you're a rogue, you have a dodge with a cooldown. You get hit, you get hurt during the dodge still, but you have a dodge move. That's what's important, right? Oh, man. Alright, where's that rift? Looting. Because why not? I really wanted to close that. You can't close it till you kill all the demons. Like, to explain, since I don't think you know. Um, the bar in the top right corner is the rift strength, and each time you kill an enemy, it goes down. You can't close it till the bar's empty. Yeah, well, I was really hoping, because, like, there was a time where, like, there's no demons out. Yeah. I was really hoping I could get the drop on it. Nope. No, while it's spawning enemies, you're not allowed to do anything to the rift. That sucks. You yep. get to stand there and look pretty. I was really kind of hoping that they'd be like, oh, be an opportunist. Take the initiative. Nope. And... Boom. Yay. You closed a rift. I looted dead people. Dead monsters. Dead monsters. Yep. See? Power plus one. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm basically done with this area. Sort of? Um, I don't know. I guess since I have to do these damn things anyway. Yeah. Well, the idea is to essentially do whatever quest you want to gain power. 
there are some quests you can do multiple times over to gain power. Like, uh, the person back at the camp. Yeah, yeah. that's it. The person back at the camp who had the little nothing quest was to gather some materials out in the wild and take it back. Yeah. When you complete that quest, you gain one power. So, if you want to, you can just run around gathering the whole time and then turn in those quests and proceed. Of course, you still have boss fights. By the way, there are boss fights. Yeah. Uh, let's look at hers. But, obviously, you're supposed to map the area and open up all the camps and do all okay, the quests. Okay, well, that's, like, along the way, anyway. And all the little nothings for everybody. And when you complete it, you'll get a whole lot of nothing. Oh, I'm actually looking for, like, an item. Yep. Yeah, I really need to pay a bit closer attention. It would help, but you don't have to. Alright, well, I guess it's supposed to be somewhere in this area. Maybe... Maybe this? <sighs> Could it be it? Um, I don't think so. Nope. It's supposed to be like right here. Yeah, it tells you it's in this area. Have you always lived alone? Out in the wilderness as an apostate? For the most part. Wordy talkie. Not be incredibly trying? People can be trite. Mankind, most of all. That is an excellent point. See? What? Oh, just like... Any, any time there's like... An apostate... <gasps> and like, a Templar talking... It is really, like... Amazing... How much they have in common. Well, yeah, they're two sides of the same coin. I figured that's what they were going for with the writing. It's why even though I like making the Templar jokes and obviously poking fun at you, I don't actually hate Templars. If I did, I'd probably be spouting more about how I hate Templars and blood magic is awesome. Yeah. Alright, so... But yeah, that purple area back there is the area it's in. It is somewhere in that amorphous blob. Yeah, I was really hoping that, like, these guys were a part of that area and they strayed a little bit out of the circle. Nope. <sighs> God, I fucking hate these. I know, right? At least the terrain isn't difficult to navigate. Oh, ooh, right. I forgot. At least you have a clear indicator of where you go. Ah, oh, shit. At least you have friends on your horrible trek through the wilderness. Right. They can make witty dialogue and kill some time while you get lost and try and jump up the side of a mountain. God forbid they just give you wings or a jetpack or the ability to jump really high. Right. Or the wings. Or a jetpack. Uh, jumping in. Well, I mean, just the ability to, like, Good example. Mario. Mario jump. Mario jump? Yes. Like, five times your own height. He does a pretty beastly jump, and he is really fat and f fast. I meant to say fast, but then I thought, man, he's got a belly. Like, right when I said that. Eh? Oh, uh, man. Okay, he's not really fat, but he is fast. Like, considering, like, his, his, like, height and everything. Gotta go fast. Wait. Wrong character. Wait, wait. Mark location. This must be one of the supply caches Recruit Whittle wished us to find. Yay. Yep. And that's how you found the apostate cache. You put a stick up. And, uh... Now it's yours! Yeah, that's, that's how it works in the real world. Mission complete. Go home. Oh my god, which one's closest? So one next bitch. to the camp. <laughs> at least there's a camp there. Like when you start off in the map, you can start at any camp you've discovered already. Oh yeah. So if you ever have to come back, you can start off at the other camp you made, instead of having to start all the way back where you were. 
Also, when you rest there, it fills your health. Obviously. And Sweet. your supplies. Sweet. I just gotta get there. Yep. You should probably get there next time, though. Is it? Oh my god, it's already that time. It is that time. Alright, everyone. Well, we will see you next time for more trekking in the forest. God, this is this is going to be a long series. Yeah, yeah. We could have played Minecraft and it would have been about as long. Probably. Alright, see y'all next time.